Hi, I'm Crafty Candy with CraftyCandy.blogspot.com. Third video of the day. Are you sick of your email yet? Sorry. Um, now I have the altered bottle caps. We had to make two of these, the same thing, kind of the Victorian feel about them. I stuck with my blue, brown, and cream color pattern. Um, and I tried to repeat some things. My, my goal is that when I put all four pieces, the keys, the bottle caps, the flowers, and the stick pins together, that they'll look like a cohesive set. So I tried to be very cognizant about what I repeated. So um, this little heart that I've used on the dangle that I swear I had straight, yeah. Um, I used another one of these on one of the keys. Um, this sheer ribbon that I used to make the band of the necklace with, I used to make a flower. Um, and there's birds repeated throughout in the same colors, and they're the same beads as in the stick pin. So I really tried. That was a big part of the goal. So here's my altered bottle cap. Um, I added this pink rim around there, which i got to be honest, I'm not super crazy with. Now that I look at it, I think I'm going to put a little crocheted flower right there. Yeah, totally. So imagine this with the crocheted flower over there. Um, a pretty printable I found on Pinterest. I added some little seed beads and I use um, I use glossy accents when I fill them in. Um, I did put it onto um, to a chain. If you haven't seen these, they're little barrel clasps that you can put onto the end of a, like a ribbon or a felt piece of um, leather, yarn, anything like that. And then you squeeze this in the middle here and you flatten it and that it holds it in. Isn't that cool? So, um, I found those at my little bead shop locally. So there's one of my bottle caps, Pretty Little Bird, the dangle. And this one, I really have to say I'm super, super happy with. I hope the girls like it because it's a little non-traditional. I had these little metal filigree pieces. Aren't they lovely? And I used bottle caps that didn't have holes already in them. So my original thought was I'll put it on here and then I'll have some holes to hang things from. And um, I use the Adirondacks Dauber. Do you guys use the Dauber part? I actually open it up and paint it on with a brush. I think that does a more even job for me. Um, so I covered that in the, the gold color so that it matched my bottle caps. And then as I was looking at it, it kind of looks like wings to me. And then when I stuck these feathers behind it, it really looked like rings to me. So I found the most cherub little face that I could, um, Pinterest.com printables. I, I found her on there. And then I added some little um, brown seed beads just to kind of draw attention there. So she's not on a charm. I didn't add a shank or anything. Um, I, th I think I'm going to leave her just exactly like this. It's, it's flat enough on the back. You could add it to a mini album if you wanted. Or if somebody wanted to add a bale or something and, and make a piece out of it, they could. Um, but I just think that turned out so, so nice. I'm really happy with that. So those are my two bottle caps. Um, I'm going to spend some time today working on my packaging, and then maybe, hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have that together. So, um, two bottle caps done, three flowers done, two keys done. My stick pins are done. They're just not in a, they're not presented yet. So, this was a lot of fun. I liked that this swap had some really different, different things on it that I don't usually deal with. And that's really what I want to do this year is try to be, um, I need to get outside of my comfort zone. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.